Welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News. I'm Bronica Odeka and joining, Yo, you, <laughs> and joining us next is Princess Juliana Adewa, an interior designer and art collector and the founder CEO of Showcase Limited, a professional interior design and furniture manufacturing company based in Lagos, Nigeria since 1985. Welcome to the morning show. Thanks for having me. Glad to have it's you It's so good to here. have you. Thank you. So. I want to ask you more about the interior design industry in Nigeria and interior decorating industry in Nigeria. There seems to be a lot of confusion. So can you just clarify for us first, what is interior design? An interior designer is basically a professional, mm -hmm. more technical, that understands space okay. and how to live in a space, mm -hmm. how a space functions. Mm -hmm. An interior designer understands his or her clients, mm, mm. their lifestyle, mm, mm. how they are going to use the space he or she is going to decorate. Okay. An interior designer must understand all the technicalities of building. Mm. An interior designer must understand materials to use, whether oh, wow. it's paint, mm -hmm. lights, Fabrics. You take fabrics, for example. An interior designer must know the sort of people that are going to live there. Mm -hmm. For children, basically, you must make sure you have textile mm -hmm. that's not, that is fi uh, fire retardant. Mm -hmm. You must make sure that it is not treated with certain chemicals that will affect the I children. I have no idea. Nor the people living there. An interior designer must understand the chemicals, you know, used for his or her paint. And basically, an interior designer must be gracious. Mm -hmm. And when you say gracious, a space is created. Graciousness requires hospitable mm -hmm. environment. Mm -hmm. Apart from being hospitable, it must be luxurious. There must mm. be locks. Mm. When I say locks, I'm not referring to having gold chandeliers and all sorts. Yes. <laughs> it is important for people to feel very comfortable in it. This, mm. okay, whatever okay. you put okay. there for people okay. to mix. Of course, the luxury aspect is, is, there. There. is there. Then you might want to say, what about the decorator? Mm. The decorator, an interior designer works with builders. Architect. With architects, okay. okay. So you're almost so an interior designer comes in at the earlier phase so the of a project. Yes, the creative Direct, aspect. Director from the yes. beginning, right from the very beginning. You're the first point of contact before I talk to anyone else. I will come yes. to the interior. Yes, you must come to the interior designer because with the interior designer has been working with the architects and the builders hmm. and the client. Uh, the hmm. most important individual is your client. Okay. The and then the decorator. The decorator. An interior designer is also can, a, be, a decorator. can be a decorator. Yeah. Okay, okay. Must be a decorator. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. The decorator would actually they are decorating um, say the drapes, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. soft furnishings. Okay. And all of those. But at the same time we work with the designer. If the decorator is separated mm -hmm. from the designer, mm -hmm must discuss, there must be a dialogue, mm -hmm. be, uh, because the, the decorator might want to use a particular color mm -hmm. and a particular fabric, mm -hmm. and the designer will say, no, it no, go. no, it doesn't go with the space, okay. because mm -hmm. the color might affect the mood. Mm -hmm. So a designer is a psychologist. Okay. You know what, now that okay. you just said that, this is really, I mean, I'm taking, I've just learned a whole lot. Let me tell you why. When so next time you call someone, you need to know no, who you're I, calling. I now know because when I was, and this is really true, when I was moving into a new house, it was a flat space. Now, I don't know anything about designing space. I might just, I'm great with clothes, but space and colors, I couldn't figure it out. Yeah. I hired someone to do my space, and I would ask simple questions like, okay, well, do you think the couch is going to be too big if you bring it? Because what about, you know, I don't know. And I'm looking yes. at her, I'm like, you're supposed to be the person, and she doesn't know. So she's a decorator. She's a decorator. And okay, a okay. designer would be able to tell me, Would be no. spatial, would also the be spatial, able to. Okay. The people that are going to use the sofa mm -hmm. or the sitting arrangement, mm -hmm. the direction, um, where you're going to watch television. Yes. Are you going to use that space to eat when yes. you're watching 
television? Mm -hmm. Are you going to have children? What sort of guests? Are you, going to Are you having people you're going to entertain? Mm -hmm. And one thing I learned is the lighting. Yeah. When people have so much light in space and how to utilize the light in the yeah. windows and the space yeah. in your house. You must understand light. Mm -hmm. Light is so vital. In interior. <laughs> I love that you're like, I cannot express this enough. I light is your, your friend. All the time. Yes. Light is so, so important. The general light, ambient light, mm. task light, all of those, when you, it depends on what you want to do, if you want to watch television. But I didn't want us to, um, I don't want us to miss this because we're sort of winding down. I, you're also, man, you're into manufacturing. Mm. Yes, I'm into manufacturing. I had to go into manufacturing because there are certain times you are searching for a particular object, say a dining table and dining mm. chairs. It's not in the market. Mm. You have to, you, you want, you look at a space. You can't truly find the dimensions that you, are, that you actually yeah. want or the style you are looking for. We've come a long way, by the way, since yes, 1985. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. When you started doing when this. We started, yes, yes. When we started um, designing, we had nothing. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. We had basically not even proper textiles. Mm -hmm. But let me we ask you about textiles. Improve the textile yes. Let me ask you about textiles. I find that in Nigeria, textiles are quite heavy for such a tropical place. Mm -hmm. Why are we so drawn to heavier textiles? Mm -hmm. We are still uh, with a colonial past. Mm -hmm. Is the thinking. We are still quite Victorian. Mm, yes. We are still because we see heavy textile as opulence. Yes. Okay. Fair enough. Right, Fair that. enough. That makes sense. So, how do we start to gravitate and think more of using local textiles and actually lighter textiles that sort of complement our environment? Um, you have to encourage the designer and the tech. You must encourage your mm -hmm. client. Okay. That's where the designer comes in. Yeah. Yes. Okay. To okay, explain okay. the technicality okay. Mm. Okay. of textile mm -hmm. okay. to say if you use natural textile linens cottons okay. Oh, okay. Uh, on sofas loose covers mm. that you can change mm -hmm. wash mm -hmm. but you have to educate your client okay. you must be able to convince them that you can design something really nice with lighter fabrics yes uh, some clients will insist that they want those heavy velvets, mm -hmm. that they want all the heavy taffetas <laughs> yes. and things. Yes. You have to give it. Mm -hmm. You have to come up with a solution where they can appreciate, that is you bring in mm -hmm. the light fabrics mm -hmm. and then use the heavier ones as accessories. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. To trip. Okay, so okay, so, so okay, there's okay. a balance. You give them the pleasure mm -hmm. of enjoying, yes. of showing the opulence, you mm -hmm. know, that I have velvets and brocades and yes. damask. Mm -hmm. Yes, damask, yes. Yes. <laughs> it's not, uh, damask is still very fashionable with the younger yeah. people. It's not trending no, at all, yeah, no. especially in the West. Yeah. But what I find, young people here, are still thinking like their parents. Mm, mm. You walk in, you walk into a young lady's house or a young boy's a young man's house, <laughs> and you see all this heavy, heavy textiles. Heavy textiles. Mm. It's an affirmation mm. of wealth yes. to them mm. or of a particular class. I love the fact that we focused on textiles because this is actually something that I continually mm -hmm. see and I think mm -hmm. the idea of mixing textiles. We're going to probably have to bring you back to talk to us more about art collections oh, yes. in the future. Yeah. We're wrapping up the show, but thank okay. you so much for thank really helping you. us shine a light on light and textiles and that's what we want people to take away today. Thank, thank you so thank much for you. being with us. That brings us to the end of the morning show today. Thank you for watching from our entire team here in Lagos. Enjoy the rest of your morning and of course the rest of your day. Goodbye now.